after that. <laughs> I fucked up. I just hit the record button on video right now. Oh, damn. So we got warmed up, at least. Alright, cool, cool. That works. So here, we're gonna run it back now. The rap throw back. Megatron here. I'm on the line with Soundwave. Yo, yo. Oh, what up? Gordon the Row. Death Row Records. Hell yeah, man. You get that from the Hell shop? yeah, dude. I got this from the Death Row Record Shop, man. This thing is fucking quality, man. Fucking got Death yeah. Row on the arm. Logo on the front. Even got a little tiny tag right here on the uh, the bottom of the shirt with the logo on it. But uh, yeah, man, it's a thick shirt too, man. It's good. I need one of those. I recommend checking the shop out, man. And uh, I regret not like keeping up on it all year long, man, because every Thursday they have one item that goes on sale for 19.91. And I mean, they've done everything from like albums to shirts to hats to whatever, you know, but. Yeah, I've been looking uh, at the sales. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to continue doing that next year or not, but uh, damn, a lot of opportunity there. Dude, but, Death Row might oh, get yeah, bought out. Love this shirt. Yeah, I heard that. Let's see. I, I haven't heard too much, but like, who who's going to buy it out, you know? Hopefully Snoop. Yeah, I know Snoop was talking about it. Yeah, that'd be dope. He would be a good candidate to, to bring that back. I think Gaz does it. Always talking that type of shit. Like, yeah, Daz was supposed to buy Ruthless. Yeah, I remember he was saying that he bought Ruthless. Which sounds impossible. Which, I don't know what became of that, because, like, even Lil E was on, like, hanging out with Daz back then, so... I don't know. Crazy. A weird uh, moment in time there when Daz was doing all that. Yeah. But... Shit, man, hopefully Disney doesn't buy it. Mm, they might put it on Disney Plus. Get all the row. <laughs> Disney Plus with ESPN. Disney Plus M. Yeah. They'll have an M section Disney now. Plus. plus the row. Death row. <laughs> so, man, we've been doing this a little bit over a year, but let's take a trip back throughout the 2020. All right. And, uh, yeah, just talk about some of these uh, records or some of the tracks that stuck out to us, like on some of these records. Um, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at our, at our SoundCloud stuff here, and, man, it's cool. We had an interview with Dice. Shout out to Dice. Yeah, I was just, just saw that. Yeah, shout out to Dice, man. It'd be cool to talk to him yeah. again. But, uh, yeah, man, um, I remember kicking this thing off, you know, with uh, NWA and uh, yeah, man, steadily growing, you yeah. know, growing with it as uh, we keep doing these shows. Yeah. Do some, uh, probably get on some more video shit if this comes out okay, you know. Right. Riverside app or whatever this is. Um, so far, so good though. I don't know. Looks easy peasy. But yeah, dice. And we did his album, too, like right after that. But, yeah, you know, we start off with that NWA because the tree just kind of grows out of there. And then uh, right. moved on to... And then on that Dice, wasn't he dropping another album when we were... He said he was working on during something. during that interview. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, anything's yet. come out, though. He keeps, you know, he posts stuff on, I think it's uh, Facebook or Twitter. Um, I yeah. I on there. So I know he's active out there, but uh, I want to hear some new tracks, man. We'll see. Yeah, that, that that interview was funny because I don't remember what we said, but he caught on to some phrase that we said. He said he was going to do his next single was going to be the name of yeah, uh, whatever we were talking about at the time. I don't remember, yeah, but that was funny. Yeah, get on it, man. Get on it, Dice. Let's hear it, Dice. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that was good shit. That was that was fun. Yeah, we were just uh, like a few weeks earlier. We had done Dead Flowers, and uh, mm -hmm. we got to dive in and really check out you know the beats and the artists. And of course, you know Dice had his part on there, and that was dope. Right. When he explained to us how poems was made, that was hella dope. Right. Yeah, hearing some of the stories about how they would be coming up with the concept, driving to the studio, 
all wasted and yeah, shit. Yeah, man. Him in the big Razok. Rest in peace, Razok, man. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, that was. He had some good stories too. Yeah. And then it was cool to go uh, check out Neighborhood Shit Taco right after that. Yeah. So that was cool to be able to do that back yeah. to back. Yeah. And uh, you know, after that, I started listening to some of his other releases. You know, his later ones, they were pretty dope. Yeah. The newer. So Dice yeah. still got it, man. That was pretty cool, though. But, yeah, it looks like, I mean, we did a lot of West Coast classic tracks here. You know, we tried to mix it up with some South, you know, 8 right. Ball, the Lost Disc. You know, uh, we did the, that was our first double disc, wasn't it? The Lost. I, Actually, we I did two so, yeah. Eyes on Me. We did that in one sitting. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you so go, that, yeah. And Tupac Go Lies On Me is still the highest played episode we got. And, I mean, that's cool, but we're kind of like, oh, man, we were just getting into this, man. We hardly knew anything. But it was all Well, right. yeah, <laughs> man. I mean, I, man, I was hella green. Yeah. Rookie, noob, whatever you want to call me. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, it, it gets easier within time. But, yeah, man, I was such a yeah. rookie back then. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Yeah, what? what... <laughs> I don't even like going back in. Hearing some of What's those. What's your sometimes. favorite uh, "All Eyes on Me" track, though? Oh man, two of America's most wanted, yeah. easily. Um, on that on that album, that's the one I bumped the most. Yeah, that's a good track. Uh, I like the one with the outlaws. What is it called? It's called "Gangsta." Um, yeah. When we ride on our enemy. No, yeah, yeah when we ride, right? right? I like that one. That's some good shit. Yeah. And then uh, you know, we watched that video and I didn't remember that Biggie scene. You know, that was crazy with Puffy. Oh yeah, where they called yeah. him Piggy. You gonna get the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we ride, that's what yeah. what it's called. Nice. But uh but yeah, the video for that that was funny. Tupac was all bloodied up. Like oh. Or, or something along the lines of yeah, answer the phone. Yeah, or, yeah, answer like the phone. <laughs> yeah, we did a few video reactions this year. We're gonna have to do some more. As, uh, you know, people always yeah. comment on them and shit. Even if they're bad, they still comment. So we'll get some under our belt in the twenty two. Yeah, the video reactions yeah, are pretty fun cool. to do. The videos. Uh, we checked out a couple videos that we of songs we have never heard before yeah. too, and that was cool. Some of the Wu Tang yeah, shit. You know, uh, what we got? We did Old Dirty Bastard and some Method Man. Uh, I actually listened to. Yep. I had those yeah, grimy I listened videos. to that Method Man, the first album, and uh, I'd gotta say mm -hmm. it was actually pretty good. I could tell it was, you know, old school, but I was like, this ain't bad. You know, I would have probably liked this back in the day. I got it. I only listened to it like twice. Nice. I got to give it another listen though. It's been a while. But I got to say, man, that record was all right. I don't know about his other records. They're kind of like, uh, you know, on and off with with the good shit. You know, you could tell by the reviews out there what mm. people say about him. But, you know, when he was him and Redman did the verses, that was like crazy because Method Man is like fifty and he's out there. Rocking the mic like better than these young cats, man. It was like, damn, that guy's got it for sure, man. Right. Did they do the verses against yeah. each other? But it was hardly against oh, wow. each other, man. That's it pretty was cool. More like, it's more like yeah, a collab concert. More of a collab concert, but it was still cool. I caught a, cl I caught a clip of the Bone Thugs and Three Six Mafia one What's up with last that? weekend. I didn't catch. I just heard what Busy said. Called uh, you know, motherfuckers or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Well, I I happened to catch it live by accident, and I was like, okay, I'll check it out. But um, I I only checked out. I think they did like four songs a piece before I ended up, you know, going and doing something else. They were gonna do twenty tracks a piece, and I was like, fuck, no. man, I can't listen to all that. That's too much. <laughs> but I didn't see the fight or anything like that. But they were talking hella shit to to each other Still, at the very beginning. After all these years. But uh, yeah, man. So I don't know. I guess Busy got in a fight with Juicy yeah, J or something like that. Busy. I don't know what happened. 
they had to stop the show and then they got it going again. I guess you never know with busy. Probably. Like, dude, is <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, but they had all five yeah, of them there, crazy. so that was cool. It's like, do an album now, right now, while you guys are here. <laughs> right. All the phone right? members in one place. Take them all to a studio yeah. on the spot. Variety. Yep. Uh, I'm glad that Flesh didn't do anything. We don't need him locked up again. No, jeez. Guy must nope. feel like he's on thin ice every day. No shit. And that was funny when we did the uh, video review for Thuggish Ruggish. Like, he was the right. dude running from the cops in the yeah. video. <laughs> and then he ended up getting locked right, up yeah. after that album. It's a true story. <laughs> Bad, yeah. Bad karma. Bad karma there, I guess. But uh, we also did that, the Doc Helter Skelter record. And yeah. Yeah, that was uh, a lot of fun. That, when that came out, that was like during the OJ days. Uh, I just remember the O.J. Simpson, right. you know, because of that song, of course, it, you can't forget that it was out in the 90s, this record. Um, mm -hmm. What was cool about it is, like, the record is, is really cool, and his voice is jacked up, but I, I like the voice. It didn't bother me at all, and um, I don't know if you have to get used to it or whatever, but it's one of those records that just is under, I under think it... uh, appreciated for sure. Yeah, it's a classic, and it's probably an, uh, you know, it's one of those classics that a lot of people probably don't get a chance to hear because of, you know, he's not on the famous labels anymore. He kind of went and did it against Dre, and yeah, the voice thing. I know it took yeah. me a little bit of time to get used to, but um, that is definitely what was a cool classic is that album. We man. did that video uh, reaction, the Shine one. And the doc was featured on there. That was dope. It's like, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. That, that was, was cool. cool. Uh, we didn't really do a Shine album though, but he's kind of like, I mean, he's still in the news now as a politician, which is kind of weird to see, all the time. Like, oh, Shine is uh, hmm. visiting with whoever, you know, because he gets to wear suits now and shit. Because he's a. Uh, like, I don't know what he is. Yeah, that is weird. I haven't kept up on Shine. I didn't well, know about that. Well, you Google one guy, man, the stuff just keeps popping up in your news feed. Like, I was <laughs> why do I get Rick yeah. Ross stuff all the time? You know? You just look up Rick Ross and just, it's always there. Dude, the phone, yeah, well. I know. Yeah, well, Listen the phone's Ross. listening, man. So, you know, what, what under after all these records, which is your surprise one? Or some of your surprise ones? think oh well i mean definitely king's disease oh, yeah, one and two you know, you know. For you uh, especially yeah that came yeah I, I don't listen to nas and you know given that uh a good listen through a good review yeah. like back to back that was pretty cool um got to know hit boy as a producer and uh yeah man that that was those were pleasantly surprising yeah. good albums. And I like what's them. funny is we didn't even listen to King's Disease uh part one when it came out and that was like in twenty twenty, right? Like I think. Right. Yeah. I might have gave it one listen, but I mean it's like a lot of things you hear at once yeah. and it's hard to go back to it. Yeah, so we listened to both of those records like almost you could say at the same time, but it was like let's check out King's Disease two. Mm-hmm after King's Disease 1. And uh, it was worth it. It was, uh, there, there were right. pretty dope records. Um, yeah, uh, and they they sound like... Um, yeah, like a double disc. You know, they belong together. You know, like they could have packaged yeah. them up yep, as a double disc. Yeah, that's pretty dope. The, uh, the other record that you said... Which ones did you say? You said Nas, King's Disease... Yeah, one and two. Yeah, one and two. Um, I'm. I mean, another one like that came out yeah, of nowhere was Hitman's album. I was album. through here, and I was I was gonna point that one out. Um, Hitman, like you heard it mm -hmm. first, and then made me listen to it, pretty much. And right, you know, I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll do yeah. it. And I fucking hated Hitman. Um, but this record was a good surprise. Mm -hmm. 
I don't remember when it originally came out, but um, I never heard it until this year. It was it was right around the you know chronic. Um, yeah. Gosh, what is it? Two thousand one. Right around those days, you know, probably after. But you know, you got to get to know him more. Of uh, you know, he got to yeah. be himself on that album. You know, which he didn't really get to do on the Chronic 2001. So hearing him, you know, as an artist, I guess that that was a good, yeah. pleasant surprise for that album. And then I even listened to the EP he dropped after that, which was had some sort of like uh, oh, really? robotic theme. I don't remember exactly what it was, but uh, but yeah, he changed his style up big time uh, on that one. It was like six or seven songs. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the name of it was. Let me see real quick. But yeah, it was, that I was a pleasant surprise Hitman there. Album, I actually, actually, do you remember we tried to record Dre 2001 and we fucked up the audio? So then we went back. We did, yeah. I think we listened to Hitman. And then we went... Yeah, we mm -hmm. like we, we read, listened to we, Hitman, and then we did Dre, two thousand one. After that, and our scores changed. Right, so we yeah, got to I hear it like with the new Dre lens. Yep, better than I originally thought. Just a little bit, you know. I still have my, you know, my my bitches about it, but but I did like it a little bit more. Right. Yeah, I think another. Uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah. I was just going to say 2001 just didn't hit the, the same mark, you know. I mean, he was trying to reinvent the formula. and I mean, his beats were good and everything, but I just don't think that uh, the crew he was bringing with him could hold its own with those yeah. superstars yeah, that were there sprinkled like. in there too. But there were some gems in there for sure, some timeless classics on that uh, Dre 2001. If, and if you were yeah. around when it came out, that was a hell of a year, man. I don't know if it came out in the summer. I don't remember, but right. I remember that summer. Yeah, I think it was, it was the end it was of the still year. Been hard at that, you know, during the summer. So mm -hmm. you had a lot of Eminem and Dre bumping out of people's cars and parties for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dre and Corrupt That's came right. out on the same day that year. Streets as a Mother came out on that yeah, same day. You know what? That album is another one that was kind of crazy um, that I, I listened to straight through for like the first time because I used to just cherry pick my favorite tracks out of it. And, uh, you know, it was cool. It was cool to hear it all in yeah. context. And it, that we had like two songs that Dre has on his record. What was it? Housewife? Is that what it's called? Housewife? And yeah, it, Housewife. That it was... We noticed that it was just a little bit different than yeah. Dre's record and Corrupt's. Yeah, they added a little, like an extra like it was sound just a in there better, or huh? something during the hook. I'm not exactly sure. Yep, yeah, a little more that. crisp. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, next year, I, I want to get into another Corrupt album because he's got Against the Grain. That's the one that I've been meaning to get into someday because it's way different than... Yeah. Against the grain and he's got a he's got some newer stuff on uh Spotify too. Yeah. I think he's got like a street yeah, lights album. And, uh there's 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 a few of them out there that were more independent. Yeah, for anyway. sure. Um I think one of the other surprise records and this one we just did was the game's Jesus piece. You know, I never, I, I heard that once right. in my life. And, um, you know, I never thought twice of it again after that. But I know I wanted to, like, check it out again. And this must have been, like, geez, I don't know, over 10 years ago at least. When the, I don't remember when this album even came out. It was, like, 2006? Yeah, it was about uh, 2007. Yeah. I, I don't remember, but some, something so like that. that was that. a cool surprise. Um and then, you know, checking out the producers on there, these guys that I don't even really know, Cool and Dre. But apparently, Cool and Dre does a lot of shit. Cool and, and Dre, yeah. You know? 
Mm -hmm. And he's he's been working with Game since um, his second album. Uh, yeah. I'm drawing a blank here. Doctor's Advocate. Doctor's Advocate. We did that one too. I think we did that early on. Game yeah. Okay, okay. Just those we did two. a video on uh, the, his his uh, special edition record with the rags. Yeah. That's oh, that's I right. I'm yeah. I'm not even sure I heard that CD. The documentary too. I looked at it. I looked the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, I <looked> <laughs> yeah, I bet you haven't listened to it. <laughs> you might have heard a couple of songs I cherry picked off on yeah. a couple of playlists, but uh, um, that's about it. I bet. Yeah, look at I'm just looking at this list again here. But I can't forget that interview we did with Daniel Jordan. That came out clean, man. He he uh he did good on that interview. Yeah. Yeah, man. I you killed that interview, man. Record, you came prepared for that one. On. Maybe I'll get him on this video shit here so he could flex nice. his muscles at us. You know, he, you guys can compare, man. You guys can run this <laughs> over the net. Man, I haven't worked out since the little man was born. I mean, I've done things here and there, but man, yeah. I used to go so much. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get now, back in it. Now, not enough time in the day, man. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we only Hopefully. did one too short <laughs> record this year. And yeah, and he's got a lot mm, of records. Get in there. where you fit in. What? Two short record. Yeah. Do you think we should do in twenty two? Um, you know, cocktails is a good one. Um, yeah, man, I like doing the Ant Bank shit. Um, and then even album number ten, where yeah, he was supposed to retire, that was a good one. I think one of those two sure, would be those a good classic. one to go over next year. Too short. West, West, uh, Mount Westmore. That was a thing this year. And, uh, yeah. next year, I don't know. Hopefully they'll have a record out. Yep. But the track that they did was pretty dope. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. big subwoofer. That was cool. Um, and yeah, hopefully they come out. I think they're supposed to come out early next year. Um, but the, yeah, we have that. Yeah, next week, Isham is dropping something new next week. So next Friday, better be some good shit. We have some new Isham to check out. I don't know. This is a probably just a single album. I wouldn't nah, you never expect know. them to drop a double, you but never you know never know e, what you're gonna get. Yeah, I mean his last one had two volumes. Yeah, it did. That was that was pretty good actually. That was uh was that in 2019 that came out or 2020? She loves me, she loves me not. 2020. Yeah, right when people yeah. were starting to quarantine and isolate and everybody was starting to yeah, stay inside. Yeah, 2020 or 2021. It was still kind of more of the same. Kinda. Yeah, man. Yeah. Those two Crazy. years just kind of blended into each other. One the had just a little pandemic kind of did it. that. <laughs> that made the difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Shape. It's a mess now. So, hey, we'll uh, we'll definitely have to check out that new Eshaw next week. Give our thoughts on that. Um, looking at the list, though, I think Snoop Dogg. Might have got the most attention. Yeah, so we did Doggy Style. The Lost Sessions. Um, I want to thank me. Oh, yeah, we, we did, did the Lost Carpet Sessions. Junior. Okay. Yeah. Oh, damn. We did like four okay. snoops. We did do a good amount of snoop. That Blue Carpet Treatment is still one of his best records. And... I learned uh, a few things from that record. Yeah. Uh, let's see. LT Hutton 
did one of those uh one of my favorite tracks on there was that lt uh yes you're right you're right maybe I'm sorry. Rhythm, rhythm d, d man i got him confused you're talking there. about um now rhythm d did one of my favorite tracks on there man it yeah crazy Yeah, man, yeah. you did that bouncy, like, Freaky Tales track. I don't think that's what it was called. But, yeah, uh, so that was kind of a cool yeah, man, that was a good one. nugget of information good old rhythm D. to store in my brain that, I don't know, will never mm -hmm. get used again. <laughs> Maybe somebody will ask me one day, who did this beat? Yeah, that's Rhythm D, foo. The G, gangsta. Yeah. Rhythm D doesn't do anything now, though, which is too bad. Not, not that I know of. I know, man. When I hear a Snoop track and I hear something that could be him, I always like try to go yeah. find the wiki Rhythm or D was credits hot or something like that. Day, man. Doing all kinds of shit on Ruthless for sure. Remember me and my cousins? Mm -hmm. Dude, I remember Still that home. album, man. That's crazy. Hey, where That'd be a can you find good one to go you, back and check out, too. Is that on Spotify? I like, I don't know. We'd have to check it out. Um, that one and Stefan would be a good one gosh. to go over. You know, one of those. I think I have Stefan's album on my computer. I don't those, have uh, me and my cousin. I don't know if you can find that on yeah, Spotify or not, though. Those gems that are lost. Some of that old Ruthless stuff lands on Spotify and some of it doesn't. It's really weird. Right. Yeah, so that's not on Spotify. Nope. But what's weird is that Baby S guy's on Spotify. His Ruthless album's up there. But I don't understand why some of these other yeah, that's pretty cool. shit up there. Like... I bet HWA isn't even up there. There was a group that Rufus yeah, had called NX. Not. I bet they're not up there. I think I heard their album like once yeah, or something. Yeah, I remember them. I'm not sure how I got it. The full thing? I remember, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if I've heard the album, but I remember, man, yeah. I wanted to get into them. Like, but, I uh, wanted them. The stars team. were not aligned at that time for Rufus. So. No. Yeah, some crazy shit though. We had a lot of ruthless record stuff this year. You know, Easy E, Ren, NWA, Bone. Um, I think that might be where we kind of stayed. Oh, above the law, of course. Yeah. So you can see that was. I don't know. Yeah, some ruthless for sure some ruthless for sure yeah there's a decent amount of rlt in there life product for sure that not us and isham mastermind yeah yeah some i was listening isham, to fuck mastermind. everybody and yeah i was like thinking like i was listening to the deluxe edition you know and i was like people might not say that this is the best yeah. honest record but i think over the last five years it's probably the one that i've listened to the most for some reason. You know what's crazy? Yeah. Do you remember they dropped the Fuck Everybody podcast? I went back and checked that out. I just came across yeah. it because I just had my iTunes shit on random. And, dude, Fuck Everybody came on. and No way. On the podcast, it was a mastermind solo. It was like Ishan was in the background a little bit. Man, but, yeah, man, that. on the podcast, it was a mastermind <laughs> solo. Awesome. I was like, whoa, what the fuck, man? That is crazy. But it's like, they they basically, like, he did his thing, and, like, Isham and TNT aren't on there, but it's the exact same structure, too. So you got those spaces, and I think Isham and T must have just filled in the blanks, you know, after man. he was done, or I, I don't know. If, but, yeah, it was an interesting that, listen. You know, to throw Mastermind's vocals back in it, just include it, make it, like, an extra, that'd be dope. Oh, it does? Well, oh, yeah, the, oh, the group so one has all his vocals TNT. on it. 
is what I'm got trying on to there say. Afterwards. Yeah, so like, so it's nothing extra. Or yeah, I get you. I get you. Right. That's that's yeah. Exactly. That's what it sounds like. So it sounds like he gave us the unfinished version where it was just mastermind, and then when Crazy. the so official on one the came Fuck out, podcast. they had their vocals on the track. Yeah, Esham needs to get back on the podcast tip, man. Yeah. It's cool to go back and hear those. I agree, man. He's got a lot of, I'm sure, stuff in the vault. Yeah. I mean, put it out for us to buy or yeah, he should start give doing it to us for free. I don't care, but put it out there, yeah, man. Bring back bluntly speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Bluntly speaking. Man. Yeah, those were cool. Bluntly speaking. All the time. We had some technical difficulties. It's crazy. It seemed like so, he was doing that a lot, yeah. You know, we got one dog pound record that we did this year. Um, what do you think? You want to do some more next year? Like, yeah, we. So that was our only DPG yeah. record. Yeah, Dillinger and Young Gotti. And what they got a few. Mhm. Mm yeah, Dog Pound dropped a new one. Yep. Yeah. They dropped a new one this year. That'd be cool to go back and listen to. Pretty. I checked it out a handful of times this year. Uh huh. Talk about how their content changed and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, the new Dog Pound is more like it's weird because you listen to the tracks and they're all about like relationships now, like bad relationships or. They went you know, in, I don't know, man. It's weird up on when us. you hear the new one. The it's fuck? not pretty much, man. I mean, they got a couple of gangsta gems on there, but a lot of it's like yeah. you know talking about their relationships just like okay Come on, man you don't need to hear about the ladies all the time on the whole album but yeah yeah but it's cool man i don't know well it'll be a good one to go over and uh kind of like just kind of a lot of shit it man, a lot of shit so if you can think up top of your head what songs were like your favorites your new favorites of this year from our throwback list here yeah oh okay from the throwback list yeah so uh let's see well gang related i mean i guess for new ones you know i would say on king's yeah, disease uh death row east kind of sticks out um trying to think here man damn yeah, you Kendrick know, it's Lamar had some good ones on me. Damn. You know, because I never um, heard Kendrick Lamar. Not on purpose, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would yeah, bump this a, every a once in, to you know, two or to. three months. Yeah, you know, when you're out there walking uh, the dog, put on some Kendrick Lamar, man. Yeah. Right. And the thing with the newer albums, man, yeah, like I right. forget the fucking track names because I don't listen to them a lot. But uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, King's Disease and Kendrick Lamar had some don't good shit. Yeah, even the Hitman album too. had a couple of good ones on there. Cause that I think was I remember the... scoring them. A... Yeah, that was a newer record, but yeah, I just that one had a lot of good stuff. Out. Yeah, I mean, it's, what it's like five years old now. Mm hmm. That one took yeah, a while here. for it to grow. I mean, grow the first time me. I listened to that right. one, Snoop Dogg, I want to thank me. I was like, "Fuck this!" <laughs> I was like, "What am I even gonna say?" <laughs> and then I gave it another <laughs> listen, and I was like, "All right, I get it now." Yeah, yeah. And yeah I, I love the record; it's dope. So yeah, Snoop Dogg, I want to thank me. That was a pretty good surprise album this year, I think. Um, you know, some of the tracks that. That really just stuck out to me this year out of here, out of this, this list for sure is uh let's see. We got the um the one on Jesus piece here. Uh I remember like <laughs> that's like my new favorite song. I'm like, oh my god, man. I this remember. is a classic. This is going on all my playlists. <laughs> it's like the best song ever. Yeah, I thought that was a dope track. Um, you know, Nas yeah, is, uh, one. yeah, you know, the Death Row East song was really was dope as hell. You know, those are some newer tracks, though, you know, I'm kind of cheating here. 
Um, but I don't remember like all of the tracks that uh, like say that we're on Crooked Eyes shit. Right. Um, but you know, I'd have to go back and listen again. But yeah, it, yeah, um, you know, it's one of those things where I mean, we've listened to so much. I mean, I there's no way yeah. I can remember all these track names, but uh, a lot of good shit. You know, I was. I liked hearing the new stuff. You know, yeah. the King's Disease was probably my favorite of the new ones uh, to listen to, just because you know it it fit that theme of what he was trying to do on disc one, King's Disease. You know, yeah, as a track listing yeah, we rated to, to match the theme and everything. And then uh, King's Disease two had the same type of sound, so that was cool. And hearing Hit Boy's production and yeah. how much. That's something else that, in that we gained this year was, was uh, pretty an cool appreciation to for Hit Boy. You know, it's like, whoa, this guy is legit. You know, we're gonna uh, have to right. follow follow him on the Twitter or the wiki, whatever, man. Like he's on the map now. Yeah, or he's on our radar. So keep up on the albums he's working on after this year. You know. Some of the classics, listening to them again, you know, I kind of remembered why we thought they were classics. They were still classics like West Side Connection, Bow Down. Um, but you know what mm -hmm. is actually kind of interesting, though? Above the Law of Time will reveal, right. listening to that record with, like, newer headphones than I had as a kid or whatever, you know? Like, I didn't realize how crazy the production yeah. really was. But yeah like how busy it is and you can actually hear the the directions of everything how busy it is better on on a better set of headphones than uh apparently my car had or i used to own back then i'm not sure i really cared about headphones that bad back then well yeah i think with car stereos yeah. too they're not going to be as good as uh you know a badass pair of headphones i mean you got all the outside noise to worry about and you know the spacing isn't quite right or whatever but yeah man headphones is yeah. the way to do it man when you want to hear that was all a, that was the a cool one to hear again it was like it sounded remastered almost crazy so man we got like 50 episodes probably close i mean we got 55 tracks total but this year yeah alone, we're close in the 50s for sure 50 that we did we was busy man it was fun though. It was dope. I like going through all this shit. Right. Yeah. It was fun, man. I think what I would like to do a little yeah, bit more next year shit. is, you know, bump the newer shit, you know, like, uh, yeah, some of the newer stuff that we hear, you know, we didn't get any Rick, Rick Ross, Ross on here, you know, some Rick Ross shit that we could go over. Uh, he even dropped a new album this week. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, there's a lot of projects coming out. We got a shit, next week, a new Kendrick coming out, the Mount Westmore, Dr. Drake's supposed to be dropping something, Esham, like you 2022 know, is lining up to a be couple of projects like a pretty good year. year, man. You know, at so least I bet he's coming out with something this year, too. Either way, though, yeah, he did. No, shit. I, I think he might have. Just drop something busy, now that man. you mention it. Let me see. So, yeah, this past Friday, he came out with a single really? called Walk Corrupt? with the Giants, which is like him and Corrupt and some other dudes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have to check that out. You should check that one out. Walk with the Giants. Um no, I guess not. I thought he was yeah. he had dropped something, but it was just lessons, which he dropped in twenty twenty. Gia. Where he starts off every single song with Gia. I do, man. Do you remember going through that? <laughs> he did, man. That was, was hilarious, nuts. man. We were just joking around about it. He actually did that was it. That's pretty funny, man. Uh you know, I can't forget about the other OGs though that are that have uh, been doing it this year, like you know, I'm talking cocaine and sugar free. Like, when's that record coming out, man? Any minute. I feel like they've been hyping it for like a yeah. year, man. Sugar Cane. Sugar Cane, yeah. 
Yeah, man, it has some potential there, man. It depends on. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. The one single that they dropped was pretty good. Yeah, I don't remember what it sounded like, um, but I liked it. And then we had Cocaine what with it called, uh, Hutch doing a track that was dope. Remember with that video? That was cool. Yeah, that was so cool. hopefully we get some of that, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always good to see Hutch out there, man. Always good to see Hutch out there buff, doing man. shit, yeah. Taking care of himself anyways. Yeah. yeah, man. Started Crazy. lifting weights and he never stopped. Listening to another double disc on here, Life After Death, Biggie. Um, it's a classic two disc. Really good. Yeah. You know, we got a lot, or a few rappers on there anyways that uh, kind of kept going and like, spawned off of Biggie for sure. Like Lil Kim, um, Puffy, Mace, uh, Jay Z, right? One could argue. Uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a, it was like almost like a chronic album for the East Coast, I guess you could say. When you think about it, of all the collaborations on there and stuff. Um, yeah, you know, it was. Uh, he did have a lot of East Coast track. collaborations on there, didn't he? Yeah, I think you're right. But Might yeah, that's kind of gem, like you know, the, the crown the jewel East of Coast the East Coast. Um, yeah, it was just a, a great record for its time, especially. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, they I mean, I think I mean you compare it to All Eyes on Me. I think that you know, you could you could argue that Biggie's is even better. You know, it could. Yeah, it just yeah, I think, holds I think more that's of a, can argue that. a steady flow. Um, and maybe, I mean, it's even probably worth just doing a whole episode comparing them, you know? My favorite track on that record, and maybe of all time, yeah. is still Long Kiss Goodnight. The Rizzo produced one. It's just such a great track, man. Damn. It still holds up. Yeah. Yeah, that actually got me into, um, you know, looking into some Rizal tracks. You know, his production. Yeah, you found cool. a couple like all of the albums. Shaolin um, influences and all that. That he worked on, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that movie, The Man with the Iron Fist or something like that. Um, that yeah. movie ended up on HBO Max. And I was like, oh, I remember this. I had looked for it for a long time, could never find it, and then it just popped up. But uh, yeah, when I was watching the movie, he just had a lot of dope ass like rap songs on there, and it was all like intertwined with like the mm. the movie music and shit. So Have like he he did a really good job with the audio on that movie. Episodes, I think they're on Hulu or something, right? No, the ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me neither. But there's some people at work that I watch them. And, I know if no, I did, I, I would probably get out. into it, but I'm like, I don't know. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I hear they're good, but, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, it's not on my radar stuff, of yeah. stuff to I'm watch. I'm wondering if he does I mean, music knows, for that show. I might show. accidentally get tangled that up in it someday. Like... Yeah, it could be. Oh, yeah. It's his baby, yeah. Could be. Does Rizal produce it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. I'd be curious to That's check cool. it out. I'll That's check probably it out. pretty good then. 22. You know, that'll be my thing. Look at that. At least watch one show. Come back and tell you. <laughs> Stay away. Or check it out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, shit, Catch we could, I don't know, Sony maybe news. do a review on it or something. Then all the wu -Tang, Check out the first show. You know, the guys who really right. know their Wu-Tang shit will come and tell us how we don't know shit. We don't know what you're talking about. That was not accurate. That was... No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you fucking noobs. Fucking, like, or what, or, what, uh, what are we if we don't know what we're talking about? Or some shit. <laughs> or no, no. We we could be we could be a number of things. We could be fucking defaults or yeah. um, 
What do they call the old guys? The boomers. Okay, boomer. I'm such a boomer. Awful, dude. Awful, man. Kids are kids are awful. <laughs> so. Yeah, man. I I I fell off, yeah. man. I feel like I'm getting old gravity, now. Gravity like, I, I can't you keep up with the slang anymore. Old. Pretty much, man. I forgot. I forgot what came up. I think it's like the text message slang that I I I get uh I see, and it's just like, what the hell does this I know, mean, man? Like, I didn't know that RN meant right now for the longest dude, time. No, yeah, some of these shortcuts. You know, like too little short, shortcuts like, what, and stuff like that. that. I'm like, jeez. You know. Yeah, some chick, like texted me and instead of yeah. saying totally she said totes i was like totes what the fuck like what the fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah. Totes. i wouldn't have known totes. either totes i don't know okay. man that's not even cool yeah man <laughs> i was <laughs> I was messing around with uh, my girl's son because he does a lot of this like texting shortcuts. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start writing the first yeah. letter of every word in the sentence I'm thinking of and seeing if he gets it. <laughs> like, I don't remember what I typed, but I get a little like five letter acronym and like it sounded like he hey, knew what I was talking about. We used to know a couple of chicks in high school. Remember they used to have their own like, little huh, code language? Is that how it works? I I could not decipher it, I, and I don't know how they understood each other, man. It was yeah, so it was weird. that pig Latin shit. I just, and I was like, "Do you guys understand each other?" Yeah, man, so super weird. weird. Yep. Yeah, I, I never, I remember that shit. Yeah, that that was kind of a a lot of people were doing it, but I never took oh, the time man. to to even want to learn it. Weird shit. Weird <laughs> shit, man. Get at us. We're all the pig Latin so, people at. <laughs> I think next year, like you were saying, <laughs> you want to do some, uh, what, some BP, no, corrupt or something? What What do you want to, oh, you want to do some new shit, like Rick Ross and all that. Yeah. Oh, the, the new Dog Pound album. Right, like the new albums that yeah. have dropped and, you know, just kind of. You know, it's fun to do all the old shit, but like kind of incorporate the new stuff too. Like, I mean, not everything, hey man, you but be, you know, like we've done some dog pound shit. It'd be cool to do like a new MC dog pound album or having the you know, like Isham or I guess you know what I mean. Yeah, it's cool. Right? Yeah, man. I mean, they're, they're throwback artists for yeah. sure. You know, so yeah, I'd like to check out like some, the old uh, school mixing well, with the new. Hopefully, that new Isham record, yeah. of course. Yeah, I I saw that Rick Ross came out with the new shit. Spotify told me, and Rick Ross is like, "I know I'd be on out. your phone, man." Google tells me. So yeah, I got the notification. It's the boss. Listen to my new record. Like, oh snap! <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was I was yeah. about to take a shower. Yeah, like, man, I, I saw that Rick pop Ross up this morning to too. His record, like, oh, it was pretty cool. All right. Yeah, so yeah, that'll be some dope shit. Um, That's funny shit. If Nas comes out with any anything else, it sounds like he probably will. He's on a roll. You know, and Snoop Dogg, he's always on a roll. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot from Nas in the last two years. Yep, Snoop Dogg. We'll see what oh. he does. He could maybe buy Death Row. He's the creative guy at Def Jam. And. Man, who knows what he's doing with Dr. Dre? But uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what Dre finally Dre. does. This you know, I hope we do off. get his fucking album finally. Like, it's it's, dude. Yeah, I think this is kind of like your last game. chance to fucking to do it. You know, like if you're gonna drop that game changing album, yeah, exactly. Like this is it's it's now. You got to do it now. We don't need no, we don't need any new artists. Yeah. Just keep the formula simple and with what we know. You know, it, it's it's a winning formula. 
and you think about it, I mean, he's got so many resources to pull from, you know, like Quick is out there, Crooked Eye, you got the Dog Pound people, the DOC, um, you know, like he's he's got plenty of, of pull to put together a classic album. Yeah. I mean, Rick Ross, yeah, sure. if he wanted, you know, like pretty well, much we'll anybody he could Bowl get. Halftime show should be the start. And we'll see what he does with all that uh, attention. He's got all the eyeballs on him, so right. we'll see how he uses it. So, word that yeah, that should that should be the, the that should be a good show, man. I'm excited for, us, for that man. one. A lot of dope shit, you know. Next year, some of the old school records that I want to do that have been on my mind are like Bun B. Two Trill, you know, that was a good one from Rap A Lot. You know, I, I still want to go all the way back mm -hmm. and look at The Great Adventures yep. of Slick Rick. I was just bumping that the other day. I was like, man, we got to we gotta at least put our thoughts on this baby. You know, oh, damn. Two Light Crew, they got a yeah. big history to check out. Uh-uh. You know, that would be some dope shit. Yeah, uh, we haven't did any two life crew. There's a couple other Devin the Dude records, nope. you know. There's some good South shit and Scarface, of course. Um, but shit, of course, you know, there's the Ruthless and Death Row library too. It's like, man, this shit is never gonna get done. You know. All right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Give me one second. He's becoming mobile. Rumble's trying to escape. Yeah, he is. He's moving around and crawling. <laughs> yeah, so have you thought of any old school records that uh, you want to get to this year? All right. Have they kind of been on your mind every now and then? Um, Damn. Yeah. You know, I was thinking of the Art of War uh, from Bone. Uh, when I was checking out that verses, they had uh, they did body rot, and that kind of made me want to go back and check out the art of war. I even kind of skimmed through it the other day. Um, uh, what else? Um, we haven't did fifty cent. Some fifty at all. cent, man. We haven't really did anything on the east coast. <laughs> No, man. So, um, 50 Cent, maybe a G Target Unit album. There's you know. that one, and then there's another one, Tar isn't there? Was it Target on Sight? Is that what uh, it was? Yeah. The first one, yeah. I can't remember what that's called or if it's self titled or what. Um, <clears throat> that's right. Blood in my. But eye. a little bit more East Coast shit, man. Even, I mean, some Jaw Rule or something. You know, there's a uh, Blood in My Eye. Yep. Um, oh yeah, we gotta do an Ant Banks. What album. else do we got? Maybe get an Ant Banks album Good up in there. Then, man. A mix of old and new. Well, we'll do it, man. So. Yeah. And you know, for sure, we're gonna get some more. You know, probably another Nodis album yeah. in there. Esham and Mastermind. Probably get another one of those from each of them. A ton of it, man. A ton. Um, so I mean, they, they, we still got a lot to go it, over, man. man. That's the year-end wrap-up for 21, heading into 22. It was a good year, man. A lot of dope shit, man. Got some classics in the books. If you don't know, hit us up at the wrap. Yeah, 2022, com. man. Check out the archive. We got a lot of shit on there to check out. You know, it's funny. One of the most shared records on SoundCloud is Devin the Dude. Like, I don't know why. It has, like, the most shares. No shit, huh? I get a notification. <laughs> Good vibes, man. Yeah, and that's cool. Me, how how do they gauge that, it. the most shares? Like, is Tupac gets like listened to the most. See? Oh, okay. Spotify? Yeah. I looked at Did it. Did you I was get, like, like your year-end okay. wrap-up and shit uh, from get, Spotify? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, mine was kind of surprising, man. I was like, okay, there was one song on there that I was like, I don't ever, I never listened to that. Like, 
it would always recommend it when it goes yeah. to like uh, you know when like your playlist ends or something and it sends you like to the radio so version here's a of pretty the last good, song or something this is pretty much mine what you'll get like, like uh, I don't know whatever and radio. it's probably hard to see but, uh, but a, I mean it has Lloyd Banks Nottis yeah it's got a lot of Lloyd Banks on here um, from his latest record it's got Daniel Jordan's latest record it's got some NOS. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's a lot of sh weird shit on here. Yeah. Mine's got some uh, Mac 10, Kendrick Lamar, Burner, 8 Ball, Westside Connection. I'll have to Tupac. share the playlist. You can share it. Yeah. I think they even ask you to compare Price, it with no your home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that a shot. Yeah, I saw well, that. That's That'd be gonna kinda do cool. it, man. But uh um, throwback.com, check out the archives. Yeah. Hit the subscribe if you're checking us out on the YouTube. And uh shit, we'll uh wrap it up next week or some shit with some newer shit so whoa that's rumble right there ladies and gentlemen a okay, little little man came over here to get in the, in the picture <laughs> i think he's trying to he's rumbling man he's what up rumble <laughs> rumble back there he's Check trying out. to fly he it's podcast friday so <laughs> Wearing the bone shit. I like it. Oh, I'm hell yeah. That, Podcast Friday. <laughs> Peace. Hell yeah.